This is our Still Air box. This is the perfect product for any home grower who wants to decrease their chance of contamination without spending a lot of money on a laminar flow hood. It'll give you the ability to do crucial things in mycology, such as pouring agar plates, working with agar, inoculating grain, doing grain to growth medium transfers, and much more. This product is going to dramatically level up your mycology work. It'll also fold down into this small bag, which will fit anywhere in the house. We're going to unzip it and take it out of the bag. When we unfold it, it's going to pop open. Then we're going to unfold the top clear plastic layer and pull out the middle, zipping up both sides so it keeps sturdy. And in 30 seconds, we've set up our still air box. Now we're going to prep it to do some work in. We're going to spray our hands with 70% isopropyl alcohol, spray the inside of the still air box, and spray the inside of the arm sleeves. And for everything we spray, we're going to leave it for at least a minute to give it enough time to kill the contamination. Spray a paper towel and give it a wipe. I've found it's easier to wipe half on one side of the still air box and half on the other. Then we're going to sanitize what we're working with by giving it a spray and a wipe. It's important to get a wire rack like this to help keep everything sterile. They're fairly easy to find. We got this one from Kmart. We're also going to give this a spray and a wipe. Put it in our still air box and put everything we're going to work with on top of the rack. Then we're going to give everything a final spray before we close it up. A still air box works by stopping airflow, creating an environment where the air becomes still. From there, gravity is going to pull all of our contamination to the bottom of the still air box. And our wire rack allows us to work above the contamination. It's important to work slow and deliberately, creating as little air current as possible, reducing our risk of contamination. It's important to never have a flame inside of the steel air box because this will create an air current, increasing the risk of contamination. Any flame sterilization needs to happen outside of the steel air box. We want to leave the steel air box for at least an hour to give it enough time for the contamination to settle to the ground. We're going to spray our hands and slowly put them in the armholes, being careful not to stir up any air. Then we're going to get to work, being deliberate and slow with our movements. It's also important to not put your hands over the work you're doing. Be slow when shaking up any liquid culture or spore syringes so we don't create any air currents. And from there, we're able to do many things in mycology we couldn't before. When we're finished, unzip the two sides and fold them inwards. Push one corner in and fold the other one over the top. Flip it over. Then we want to grab the top left corner and the bottom right and fold them in on each other while twisting the bottom right corner clockwise. Then we're going to fold the other two corners in on each other. Put it back in the bag and zip it up. And then you can store it away until next time you need it.